Good afternoon, Trojan families. My name is Amanda Adams, and I'm the Executive Director for Teaching and Learning at West ISD. Today, I would like to give more information to our remote instruction families about what to expect this year in remote instruction. First of all, I'd like to talk about the content of remote instruction. Unlike what we experienced in March through May of last school year, the content this year will be the same as it would be if your student was on campus. They'll be expected to complete the same activities, same tests, same assignments as their on-campus counterparts. Having said that, their schedule has minimum amounts of time that they have to participate each day. If they're a student in pre-K through five, they will need to participate online three hours per day. And on, in upper grades, six through 12, it's four hours per day. Now that's the amount of time they have to be logged into our Schoology system and participating in our software and doesn't include outside time as far as reading assignments, homework, and normal everyday things that we do in school like practicing flashcards and things like that. So uh, having said that, your students will still get all the accommodations they normally would have gotten if they are in a special program, whether that be gifted and talented or special education or anything in between those accommodations will be provided and you will be getting a phone call from those teachers to explain how that will work if your student is a remote instruction student. As well as participating on the same content in activities and tests, your students will be held to the same grading policies and attendance policies as our on-campus students. Attendance policies will be enforced at the 90% rule and unfortunately can lead to truancy if your student's not participating. So one thing that we wanna do for every student who is remote is assign a learning coach. And a big part of that role as a parent learning coach will be to make sure your student participates daily and gets the required minutes to be marked present. Students in remote instruction will also be subject to the same accountability rules as on-campus students. Therefore, they will still take the STAR test in designated grades as well as the EOCs in high school, which have a graduation requirement. And finally, the rest of the learning coach role will be you helping us and partnering with us to make sure it's a successful year for your student. In that role, you'll continue uh, to work with the teacher as you would have if your, your student was on campus, and you will keep a log of your student's attendance. But more than that, you will be a liaison between the school and home and making sure that your students needs are met no matter what situation you're in and make sure you have contact with the teachers. Following this video, if you signed up for a remote in enrollment, you will also receive a phone call. In that phone call, we'll be asking you specific needs. For example, do you need a laptop to borrow for your student? As well as what orientation time would you like to sign up for? We'll have multiple options and we'll be able to talk to you about those on the phone call. Be expecting if you enrolled as an on remote instruction student to hear from us sometime the week of August 17th. If you see a call from West ISD, pick that up and we're going to discuss when you would like to sign up for orientation and other parts of the remote instruction plan. If you have any questions prior to that phone call, please feel free to reach out to me through email at aadams at westisd.net or by phone at 254-981-2007. We're here to help you in any way possible and look forward to talking to our remote instruction families. Thank you.